Hello everyone, I am the Boo Bomber and I have gotten sidetracked. There's been a lot of drama on YouTube recently, huh? Between the pyrocynical allegations, Dream's supposed cheating on his speedruns, the Pokemon and Fedmeister debacle, the Game Awards being rigged, and the recent DMCA bill that passed, it seems like 2020 doesn't want to end quietly. But I'm not here to talk about the drama itself. No, no, no. I'm here to talk about the people that report on the drama, aka the commentary community. To put my views bluntly, the commentary community, for the most part, is absolute fucking garbage. Now you might be wondering why I'm insulting the community so harshly. Well, I don't have anything against the individuals within the community personally. In fact, there are some people within the community that I actually find to be exempt from my criticism of the community. But I'll come back to that later. No. The reason I say that the commentary community is a flaming pile of dog shit is because of what they do and how they do it. Essentially, all most commentary channels do is scour the internet for whatever the juiciest drama at the time is, record some background footage, spend the first 70 to 80% of the video regurgitating the details of the drama, and then spend the rest of the video discussing their thoughts on the matter. The background footage part I don't really have a problem with because that's exactly what I do for my videos sometimes, and I don't feel like being hypocritical. What I do have a problem with is everything else. First of all, taking up most of the runtime of the video going over the drama just makes them glorified reaction channels. The only difference is that, instead of reacting to Vine compilations, they're reacting to scandals and allegations. Second of all, most of the time, their thoughts on the drama are usually what the popular opinion at the time is. If you don't believe me, just take a look at the ongoing pyrocynical drama and how all the reaction channels- oh, sorry. Commentary channels have done a complete 180 now that Pyro has released a response video. Actually, that's another big issue I have with a lot of the commentary community. Not only do they tend to parrot the popular opinion, but they don't actually tend to look into the issues for themselves, and instead are more worried about putting videos out fast enough to hop on the drama bandwagon. Their haste often causes the drama to become one-sided very quickly, and I have no doubt in my mind that many of the reaction channels are the reason cancel culture has become so volatile and toxic in recent years. Now, you'd think that would be alright. The commentary community is mostly made up of trend surfers that make videos to capitalize on the hot new scandal of the week without really caring about the drama itself, or how their hasty coverage could make things incredibly one-sided. Surely it can't get any worse. Oh my god, that's right, they've manufactured drama within their own community. How the actual fuck do people still support this shit? That's right, there have been times where they've started shit within their own community. Most of it was usually stupid Twitter shit when they were bored as fuck because there wasn't any of that sweet, succulent drama for them to sink their fangs into. But there was the Slazo vs. I Am Alex bullshit which was basically the commentary community's version of Captain America Civil War. And then there's the pyrocynical drama going on right now, though he really isn't a part of the community anymore. And then there's Keemstar's mere existence. Uh, getting back on the topic, the fact that one single allegation from an unknown source is enough to get the community to turn on itself is simultaneously hilarious and depressing. They rely on drama for content so much that they'd rather completely turn on one of their own than make different content. But like I said in the beginning, there are a few good apples. So good that I usually divorce them from the community as a whole. The Right Opinion, for example. His videos are informative, well-researched, detailed, entertaining, and don't jump to conclusions or pick sides unless the evidence is solid and overwhelming. And then there are those that make commentary-style videos but don't solely follow the trending drama and make videos about other things. Moist Critical, Some Ordinary Gamers, and Omni are all examples that come to my mind. In its current state, the greater commentary community is just a toxic cesspool of clout chasers who care little about the drama they're reporting on and more about the attention that talking about it will bring. Thankfully, there are some good apples and even those who have moved on from commentary content, but there's still plenty that are scandal-oriented reaction channels. And yes, they do help to expose genuinely bad people from time to time, but they're usually just the YouTube equivalent of cable TV news networks. They care more about the ratings than actually covering the topic. Hey, thank you all for watching. I know it's been a bit since I made a sidetrack, but seeing all the recent drama going around made me think about how much I detest the greater commentary community. I know this video probably won't blow up. God, it would be ironic if it did, considering I'm not a commentary channel. But if this is your first look at my channel, then I hope you'll consider subscribing if you like the video. If I reach 100 subscribers, then I'm planning on doing a playthrough of Alien Isolation, and until then I'm going to be uploading gameplay videos with my friends in them. I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos over winter break, so look forward to a huge influx of content over the coming week. Now, with all that out of the way, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again next time. Until then, bye!